Hi everyone, it's Annie and uh, I thought I'd come on this evening and just do a changing video of Grace because um, I've not seen you all for a week or so, so uh, or just over a week so I thought I'd give you an update on what's going on um, just to let you know, we had a lovely time at the show last week, it was lovely but I forgot, um, I'm not sure if I said, but I forgot to take my um, camera around and I forgot to do a video, so apologies for that um, just to let you know as well, um, Ruby has gone to a new mummy. She, she, I put her back on. I think I did the. That's right. I did the uh, video on Monday, didn't I, about the show? And then I put, um, I put her on Tuesday. Uh, sorry, on eBay on Monday, and we went and saw the puppies Monday night. <laughs> um, I'll tell you about that in a minute. And then when we got home, she was already sold. So she's gone to a lovely new home and I'm really pleased about the lady that's had her. She's very, very happy with her, so I'm really, really pleased. Um, in fact, she's over the moon with her. She said she... Because uh, it always... It's all, I don't know about anyone else, but I always worry when a new baby goes to a new mummy and make sure they, they really like her. But um, And as you know, Ruby was very special, so I'm glad she's going to be loved and looked after. So it's absolutely boiling here today. Um, it's in the well, I think it's about 29:30, and uh, we are very hot. So I'm going to put Ruby, uh, Ruby, sorry, I'm going to put Grace in this lovely little um, like bubble suit that I got from Macy Grace. Um, yeah, um, Cassie Brace's um, stool. So I'm going to put her in this because it's very warm, isn't it, Grace? And you're very hot, little girl. So, um, so I've had quite a good week. Um, I had Monday and Tuesday off of work, which was nice. Um, and uh, we went, as I said, we went and saw the puppies Monday night. Oh my gosh, <laughs> they are adorable. Um, so they were only a week old when we saw them last week. <laughs> And oh, they are so cute. Honestly, I just <laughs> so we're definitely gonna we've definitely chosen we're gonna have a black little black boy. Um, and there's three black boys, and there's one. There, how many? Hang on, three black boys. Oh, I can't remember now what we got. Hang on, three black boys, two black girls. One yellow girl and one yellow boy. That makes seven, doesn't it? Yeah. So we're going to have um, the little yellow boys. Gonna, we let obviously somebody else was after the little yellow boy. So we we've said to that person, yes, go ahead, and, and we're going to pick from the three black boys when they're about five weeks old. So um, oh, I'm so looking forward to. Uh, but I might go and see them before then. We don't know because I don't think we can wait that long to see them again. <laughs> Just so cute. <laughs> Yeah, so we had to cuddle, and the mum, um, the bitch, um, she is such a, a gorgeous dog. Um, uh, what is she called? Uh, Chili, I see, I was going to call her Pepper then, but she's not, it's Chili. Um, she is such a kind, loving dog, honestly, and bearing in mind that her puppies are only a week old, she was so... You know, she let us go in and hug them all, and cuddle them, and... In fact, all she wanted to do was she wanted to be cuddled, and so she it was quite sweet actually. Um, there you go, there we go, Grace. Yeah, so we're definitely having one of those. We put a deposit down, and um, we think we're going to call him Harry. He's going to be called Harry because um, we had a bit of a debate over the name because um, Ken's dad was called Harry. And his mum wasn't very keen on us calling the black dog Harry, um, or a dog called Harry. So um, she. So anyway, we we sort of said, well, you know, it's not after him. It's not named after. Oh, look at this Sue. Um, so anyway, she said, yeah, you're right. He wouldn't have minded at all. So um, he's going to be called Harry. Um, oh, this is so lovely. Oh, Grace, look at this. Look at this little suit. Oh, it's so gorgeous. Oh, that is so lovely. Can you see her in that? Oh, and it's all nice and cool for you, honey bunny. Um, I must actually change Matthew at some point. Um, because he needs a good... He, he's still in winter clothes, bless him. Um, so I need to change him. 
Uh, what else was I going to tell you? Um, oh, I know. There was a. I bought. Mum wanted me to reborn another baby for her, and uh, we were at, when we were at the show last week. She bought um, what we thought was the Freya kit by um, Tina Curie. However, when I got home, it's the wrong kit in the bag. It's labelled Freya, but it's actually Jack Curie in there. So anyway, I've um, got in touch with the lady that sold me the kit, and she apologised. She's gonna she's gonna um, send me the fry kit, but she's not sent it yet though. Um, she's gonna send me the fry kit uh, so I can get reborn in. Fry is only tiny as well. Mum wanted a tiny baby, so although Jack's lovely, um, he's just a bit too big for what Mum wanted. She wanted the tiny sort of tiny tiny baby, and Freya is either newborn or um, small newborn really. I'm just going to brush her hair very gently. Because she's got um, Delta Dawn mohair and I don't know if you ever Ruby's, it's beautiful hair but it's not that easy to manage Delta Dawn and to be honest the best hair the best hair that I um, now like I think which is not as the quality isn't as good as Delta Dawn, but I think is actually better, is the um, Susan the Girl hair. Um, oh, it's amazing hair. And I'm just doing this, I've done two babies with it now, the Susan the Girl. And um, the one I'm rooting, I'm going to do some rooting in a minute actually. Um, she's nearly finished the little girl that I'm doing, which is Evangeline by Laurie Eagles. And she's nearly finished, so you'll be able to see her very, very soon. Um... But she is looking absolutely stunning. Um, um, this is the best. She will be, honestly, the best I've done so far. So she will be for sale soon. She's going to go out with some lovely items. So I don't think she's going to be around for long. Um, so if you are interested, obviously let me know quickly that you are interested. I know you haven't seen it yet, but I don't think she'll be long before she's done. There you go. Um, oh, look at her. Doesn't she look gorgeous? She looks so cute. Yeah, so I'm going to get her done. So, um, yeah, so I've got to wait for this doll to come because I said to mum I want to get her started, really. But, um, yeah, it's a shame. Um, but never mind. If we get sorted out. Uh, what else have I got? What other news have I got to tell you? Um, mm -mm -mm, let me think. What other news have I got to tell you? We um, we're, we're actually at the moment we're obviously <laughs> dog proofing or puppy proofing the house <laughs> uh, for my new boy. Um, we're getting um, sort of locks on cupboards and so you can't get into anything and um, all sorts of things we're doing to the house to get ready for his arrival. But we've got a little while yet before he comes home, so I'm not that um, I'm not too fussed at the moment. Um, we've got his crate, his crate's arrived and that's um, what I've done because I didn't want to buy a crate for when he's a baby and then another crate for when he's older, I hope you can still hear me, I'm looking for a pair of socks. Um, what I've done, I've bought a crate that's got a divider in it so that you divide it, obviously you move, it, it, you know you can have it really small to start with, oh here they are, you can have it really small to start with and then you can um, obviously move the divider out as he gets bigger um, and then I've got a smaller uh, like a tent crate like it's like a fabric crate like a uh, smaller one for upstairs of the night so he can sleep beside the bed up not upstairs at night so he's not lonely <laughs> now, I know there's some people that say that's good and some people say that's bad but I have done a lot of research and um, I've had dogs before and I think I'm gonna go I've never done that before I've always you know, as soon as the puppy comes home, goes downstairs in, a, in its own bed, in its own room, shut the door and that's it. And obviously you probably know how many sleepless nights you get on the, you know, through that. And also, you have to come down to a bit of a mess in the morning. So, by doing it this way, the crate that I've got for him sleeping upstairs is quite small. By doing it this way, if he's, I can set my alarm and um, just get up before he wakes up. Um, probably, I'm going to say probably about three or four in the morning. Get up, take him out, don't talk to him at all. 
um, just pick him up, take him out, let him have a wee or whatever he wants to do and then bring him straight back in back to bed so that I can catch him before he does anything and hopefully we get the house training really done really quick. Um, so that's my plan and we'll see if it works out. But um, I'm just about to go, it's, it's half past six in the evening, Ken's just gone to work, so I'm on my own tonight. And I'm just going to go and, it's even too hot to eat, I've got some, I was going to do myself a salmon salad, but it's just too warm to eat. So I'm just going to go and start some rooting, and although that's going to be hot, working with a heat pad in the head. But you know, it has to be done, I've got to get it done. So um, yeah, oh she's so gorgeous. Um, so really, Grace and Matthew are my only babies now. Um, Sophie's uh, still wrapped up. She's all ready to go to a new mummy at the end of the month, hopefully. So um, I will just have Grace and Matthew. <laughs> Which, to be honest, I'm quite pleased about. Because I'm now more into um, doing my own, I think it's really nice. And I can just concentrate on these two without being overwhelmed by babies. And you know how much I love Grace. So... Um, but anyway, have a lovely rest of the weekend and uh, be safe and enjoy it. Um, lots of love to you all. Take care. Bye. Bye.